good morning hi wonderful people and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome i'm vanessa and i share content on the christian faith health money and lifestyle and i'm out of breath hold on ah. so you're spending the weekend with me as a faith-based entrepreneur so i'm currently going to my second event this weekend which is in London. And it's, I think it's just an opportunity to network with people, get to know people who are maybe ahead of me in their businesses, especially as a digital quote unquote influencer, course creator and speaker. You need to know people and get to know people as well. Oh God, I'm out of breath. Notice I tend to be prone to go for people who are, what steps can you take so that you break that cycle? So what do you think self-care is? Holidays. Okay. This I would say my number one. Sleep. <laughs> organic food. I'm going to buy high quality organic food. Ooh. See them delivering meats, like quality. See when you watch Ooh. MasterChef and you're like, oh, that's a good cut. <laughs> okay. That's what I'm going to be doing. Okay. Of course I care about your story. Of course I care about whatever pain or trauma that you had experienced. However, let me remind you of something. The only person that can change the course and the path of their life is yourself. The only... So we've just finished the event. Sorry. <laughs> So the Nissy Tea event is finished. I'm now going to head off to the Black Market um, event right now. So come with me. So I'm in a rush, rush, oh, rush, rush. I hope it's not too cold. It's lovely here though. Wait, is this alcoholic? Oh, <laughs> nice. I just had some suya <laughs> that I just nicked from somebody I don't know. <laughs> Big friend. It's a bit greedy for me. I don't like it. <laughs> 11 pounds, it better be good. It better be good, Suya. So I saw a couple sitting there eating it, and I was like, Is it nice? Before I paid it, and they're like, Oh, you want to try it? I'm like, Okay, okay, okay. okay. Save me my 11 pounds. <laughs> Save me my 11 pounds. Not that, not that it's not worth it, but you know, it's just my 11 pounds, Suya. <laughs> but does anyone want the cane water drink as well? Should I join that queue and get it for everybody rather than us all living in the same queue? We've decided standing in the queue with uh, the likelihood too is too long. too long and people just follow people. Look at Jeff to get 11 pounds. <laughs> that's, 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 that's not even guaranteed. Yeah. And I, I feel don't like, know if it's worth it. But. I don't think it's worth it. I don't think we will get it. Because look, they put about what 30 pieces of chicken max on the grill. And the people are getting one hundred, each. 100 people in the queue at least. Yeah. <laughs> No chance. So we're gonna inspect the ones that no one's supporting. <laughs> <laughs> 
Dry chicken. Dry chicken. It might be really nice, but people just don't okay. know. Oh, there you go. Yo, oh, got Where are we going? We're just about to turn around and just go back. There's nothing. Oh, this is new. He just set this up. I don't think he paid for a stop. <laughs> and you start committing crimes at black owned businesses. This does not look like a store to me. Oh, but they're frozen. I'm interested though. They're frozen. So yeah, we just saw the jerk chicken. I think people are just conformist. I think when people see a food, you automatically assume it's quality. But it's just normal chicken. We are in Hackney. I'm sure we'll find a Caribbean place, you know? But now... Oh, what's that? Are you doing it? So I ended up getting um, some chips and sea bass, jerk chips and sea bass and a spicy sauce. We will give it a try. So we are now on the way to a worship event. So we had fun at the what do you call it? What was it called? Hackney. Hackney. Hackney Food Market. And we're on our way to worship now. So come along with me. Let's enjoy the day. Kick. And see how it goes. About to go to the worship night. My worship. Nobody So it's the next day and we're currently on our way to church and then we're going to a family gathering. Yesterday was great. Really enjoyed myself, I'm exhausted. But the good thing is I like I've thought about the busyness of the weekend and thought what did I get out of it the few things I got out of it was one I may have met a potential mentor two I sold um, two copies of my book three I networked with people and I might have a few collaborations so it's always good to go out and connect with people I, I, I think I heard a saying where your net worth is connected to your network that's it. Your net worth is connected to your network. So who you have relationships with matter, who you know matters. And as a, I'll classify myself as a micro influencer, a Christian micro influencer, connecting with other Christian women, like-minded people who are maybe not necessarily in a typical nine to five, but in, you know, building their businesses, are ambitious, are on social media. It's a different world. So knowing people, bouncing off ideas it's like creating a mastermind really so eventually i would like to create a mastermind of a group of women who are on a mission to share jesus with the world and build businesses profitable businesses so yeah come along with me for today and let's see how it goes so we pour out our praise to you standing oh god of just being faithful in a righteous manner